and communications at the company joining us now to discuss sustainability at the company and in general in the industry as well. Thanks a lot for joining us, Ms. Kamaling, to discuss something which has been an issue for so long, right? Packaging, as yes. people in generally say, is the cause of high pollution. Uh, we talk about plastic packaging, but you at the company have taken a lot of steps to fight that and have been very creative uh, with new innovations. So how are you ensuring sustainable packaging at the company? What changes are you making? So thank you so much, Sonal. So perhaps first to, to set it up, the net impact of packaging is positive. We need it to keep our food secure, safe, hygienic, um, accessible, and also affordable to people. So I think this is a really important premise. But with that, we obviously acknowledge that um, we can see the waste uh, issue that is generated across the world um, in India. I'm in India uh, today. I've been here for this week. And it's, it is evident that uh, industry needs to work with others to find solutions in terms of not just making sure that our products are recyclable, but they're actually recycled. And this is a really important part of the uh, equation. Perhaps if I step back also in terms of the Hutamaki journey, we have um, some sustainability ambitions in terms of who we are as an organization. So we're looking at making sure that our operations are 100% renewable, uh, using 100% renewable energy by 2030, that our products are recyclable, that they're biodegradable, that they're compostable uh, by uh, 2030, um, that our, the fiber that we use is certified and from certified sources as well also by 2030, um, and um, that we have a carbon neutral production. So that's from a production point of view. And then to the point around packaging, there meant there's a lot of innovation that can take place in terms of simplifying our packaging. So it becomes an integral part of our product so that we are able to recycle it more easily as well. Right. And this is where complexity comes in. So when you add uh, substances or materials to things, it's much harder to segregate it or to sort it. It's much harder to collect it and therefore it's also much harder to uh, recycle it. And this is one of the areas that we're focusing on uh, today as well. Okay, interesting. So can you give us some numbers or some stats? How has the sustainability initiative with Hutamaki changed things on the ground, generally industrial trends that you're looking at? Golly, that's a big question. <laughs> so uh, in terms of, so we, there's a paradigm, right? Because of course the population is growing, more and more people want access to uh, safe and hygienic uh, food. Um, so we're kind of constantly measuring this paradigm. So how do we address it and make sure that people do have access to that, but in such a way that is sustainable? And again, that goes back to the point about ensuring then that our products are, are, are sustainable and that they're also recycled. If I look at some of the, the data that perhaps is interesting is food systems, the whole system of creating food is uh, the equivalent of 10% of our global greenhouse gas emissions. That's enormous. Of that, the packaging piece plays between 3 to 5%. So we know that we have a role in here. We know that we can make a difference in terms of making sure then that we have a positive impact. Um, and therefore, it is something that Hutamaki focuses on, but it has to focus in collaboration with those who are developing recycling technologies or helping with collection, uh, with government that needs to incentivize innovation as well and help us uh, create a level playing field for everybody, as well as other industry players and, and our customers and also our suppliers. So. The easiest way to answer this is no one entity holds the full answer. This has to be done in across the value chain um, to ensure that essentially the post-packaging consumer uh, waste is then recycled and used as a very valuable secondary resource material. And this is one of the other areas that we're focusing on. Okay, interesting. And I would like to speak to you more about that, you know, because yes, you will make recyclable packaging, but what happens after that? And that is something that you are focusing on as well, because pressure to reduce packaging waste that has increased dramatically in the face of global consumer sentiment that was aroused by images of packaging leakage into oceans. We saw that happening with masks as well. But, you know, regulatory mm. maturity across countries is extremely heterogeneous. Recycling can mm. have different meanings. You think that is something that needs to be fixed on the regulatory part. And you also spoke about how uh, you will be connecting with, say, governments, waste disposal companies. You'll be using digital technology. Uh, you think plastic ban is the way to go because a lot of countries are focusing on that as well. So there's a couple of really interesting points in, in, in what you highlight there, Sonal. So one of the, let me sort of reverse the order in terms of being uh, what materials you use and what makes sense. So there's a lot of discussion around uh, the value of plastic. We need it. We need polymers as a barrier to protect um, our food, to make sure that oxygen doesn't come through, uh, that we keep it uh, 
uh, in the state that we would like to be able to consume it later on as well. And there is no, and, and also against water, for example. So there is no other viable environmental solution today. So this is a really important thing. So we need to have plastic. Now, the question is, how much plastic or how much polymer do you use? And we believe at Hutamaki that we can work on reducing that to the minimal viable level. And that's really important. So that, again, you simplify the material. The other piece you talked about was the role of government. Um, one of the biggest challenges we have is that a lot of the legislation that has uh, been put forward has unintended consequences. So if you ban plastic, you are banning IVF bags for medical use in farm and so forth. And you're also banning things that uh, packaging that makes sure that our food is safe to eat. So this, I don't think, is the right answer. As with everything, there's always a middle road. So we as industry need to work uh, towards making sure that we use the least amount of polymer possible, that we actually build on innovation. We look at paper, for example, as an alternative, but we also look at recycled resins or recycled polymer to use for our packaging. Government needs to help us by incentivizing innovation. Um, and I mean, the beautiful thing about India, there's innovation galore. There is so much happening in this country. So I think we can find technological solutions here. Um, and, um, and so rather than being restrictive about it, government actually incentivizes industry to really work on this and focus. And then we need um, collaboration, as I mentioned, across uh, other players. So we are a global uh, a converter and we create packaging and, and packaging solutions around the world. We're not a recycler. Um, we're also not an FMCG. So we have to work with others to make sure that we get to those four solutions as well. So as with all questions in life, it's always complex and there's many different uh, moving parts in this, but perhaps the most important piece is we all have to acknowledge if we want to leave the planet in a better place than we have it today, we have to work across the value chain to deliver that. And that becomes really important. And, and Hotomaki, we look at it this, we want to be able to protect food, we want to protect people, and we want to be able to protect the planet. And equal, those have equal amounts of importance for us in how we look at um, our strategies and also our product uh, portfolio. Okay, interesting points out there. Of course, it's complex, but as you said, collaboration is a way to fix it. And uh, Hutamaki is one of the companies which is making strides in that space. Uh, Ms. Kamaling, it was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for joining mm -hmm. us and enlisting the plans that your company has uh, in move towards sustainability and what can be done on a macro level as well to fix this problem of plastic pollution or generally the waste disposal as far as packaging is concerned. Thanks a lot for joining us on this edition of Climate Clock today. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. With that, we'll take your leave on this edition of Climate Clock. Do stay tuned to CNBC TV 18 for more updates.